basic punching in Nimpo Buddha Tai Jitsu isn't punching, it's stabbing, known as ski. And it comes from spear. So if he does a basic spear thrust, go ahead. That body alignment is replicated in ski kata with your fist. When doing ski kata for tai jitsu, go ahead. You replicate the same end position as you would with a spear. Now when it comes to Western boxing or Filipino boxing, they do it very differently than Nimpo would. As a matter of fact, that's why when they see Nimpo, uh, what they consider to be punches, which is really stabbing, they laugh at it and say, those guys don't know how to punch. Well, it's because we're not punching, we're stabbing. Now you can argue the validity of why you would stab in a real fight or whatever, but that's a different topic. So for punching, it's a very different body mechanic. You stay with your shoulders over your hips and your hips in between your feet. You don't lean in either direction. You keep a vertical axis and you pivot on the vertical axis. So if he throws a jab, he pivots. If he throws a cross, he pivots. And if he throws a hook, he pivots. This allows you to keep your balance and the power comes from the rotational force, basically. So if he throws them in combination slowly, jab, cross, hook, and again, jab, cross, hook, and he faces me, jab, cross, hook, face away. So a lot of times when people jab, they'll lean their shoulder forward and hold it out there. That's terrible. Uh, the balance is off, the power is off. So when they see the nimpo lean, they consider an exaggeration of this bad habit. So jab again without the lean. Correct. Okay.